Ambassador Dermer, great to have you with us here on The Watchman. Good to be with you. Yeah, well, we have this so-called stabbing intifada unfolding right now uh, in Israel. Talk about the security challenge this poses. Unlike some of the previous terror waves, which were pushed by specific organizations, and that allows your security forces to target those organizations, this is done by a lot of individuals, what they call lone wolves. The problem is that there's somebody who's throwing meat to those lone wolves. Uh, and the meat that they're throwing is this rampant incitement that you're seeing within Palestinian society, where they're making these wild and outlandish charges against Israel. It started by saying that we were trying to destroy uh, the mosque on the Temple Mount, which is not true. Uh, and it continued by saying we were executing uh, children. You know, the people who have been killed on the Palestinian side, the vast majority of those people were killed in the middle of perpetrating a crime, of trying to stab a police officer, trying to stab a soldier, trying to uh, shoot a civilian. Uh, but the picture that young Palestinians are given about what is happening is so at odds with reality, and it's causing a lot of those people to go out and to try to perpetrate these attacks. Yeah, and I think a Westerner ambassador can kind of relate to what's going on. We obviously had San Bernardino, a lone wolf style attack. Uh, you had the Paris attacks back in November. This is unfolding, maybe not to that magnitude, but this is unfolding on a regular basis in Israel. This almost seems like a, a cautionary tale in some respects for the West. Well, we've been, I agree with you, we've been dealing with terror attacks for, for a long time, for uh, over 67 years, actually for about 100 years. Uh, and sometimes they, the ebb and flow, sometimes you have these waves of terror attacks because the Palestinian leadership, instead of actually trying to put out the flame, a lot of times put more fuel on the fire. That's what we've seen happen over the last few months. Unfortunately, not only is Hamas, the terror organization, wedded to Israel's destruction, calling on Palestinians to go out and perpetrate these uh, actions, but also the Palestinian Authority, the official organs of the Palestinian Authority, their official media, the schools, the entire apparatus with which they're trying to educate their public, instead of actually trying to educate them, them towards peace, they're pouring fuel on the fire by pushing them towards more and more acts of terror, and by calling terrorists martyrs. Talk about what Jerusalem means to the Jewish people and to Israel, the city of Jerusalem. Well, it means everything. It's the center of our national life and the center of our religious life. You know, uh, Jews are both a religion and a people. Uh, it's unique. And the Temple Mount is the place where actually those two things met, because it was the center of our national life, as I said, and the center of our religious life. And a thousand years before the birth of Jesus, 1,500 years before the birth of uh, Muhammad, King David was ruling in Jerusalem. A thousand BC, he was ruling in Jerusalem. So for people to argue that there was never a temple on the Temple Mount or that the Jews have no connection to Jerusalem is absurd. But that's actually what they're educating, what the Palestinians are educating their own children. So the way that young Palestinians see is, hey, Jews have no connection to this place. All of a sudden we came here without any roots whatsoever to this land and we tried to quote unquote steal their land. That's crazy. The Jews have a connection to the Jewish homeland. The Jews have a connection to Jerusalem. Greater, I would think, than the connection of almost any other people to any other city in the world. A lot of uh, Christians throughout the United States, tens of millions stand with Israel. Uh, and they believe it very, very deeply. But I would encourage all of them to learn the facts about what is happening. Uh, because when they're armed with the facts and they go out and they speak to their neighbors and they speak in their communities and they let them know what's going on, they'll be able to convert more people to being supporters of Israel. That's what we badly need. And I'll say one other thing, Eric, there's only one thing better than standing with Israel, and that's standing in Israel. To actually come to Israel, to see this land for yourself, this remarkable land that has been transformed from a barren wasteland only a few decades ago to a thriving, modern, democratic state that is one of the most innovative and exciting countries on earth. I think when Christians go and see their own heritage, they are going to be amazed uh, at all the things that are happening today in Israel. And I think they will see a country that is not only defending itself, but it's defending them. It's defending their values in the most dangerous region on earth. Ambassador Dermer, thank you so much. Thank really you. We appreciate it. Thank you.